Hello, this is Rice Snow. So, this is gonna be a simple point and click adventure game tutorial. So, recently I uploaded a short demo about this game. So, maybe some of you guys have watched it. And uh, so, that's uh, what we're gonna create this time. But in case you haven't watched those videos, let me show you what kind of game this is. So, I'm gonna play through the game real quick. Okay, yeah, let's start. Hmm. So this is the first screen and uh, so this is a point and click adventure game so you can point you know you can click on these object or characters and uh, choose your like action like a look or a talk or rest hmm. so you can increase your life and uh, you can talk don't go any further without a weapon you should like check this. the chest over there and uh, you can also attack the guard hey, don't and uh, receive damage and uh, also you can go to other location too mm. so and uh, yeah let's open the chest and uh, you can get the sword and uh, if you attack with this sword oh, and uh, you shit. can get his shield too and uh, okay and you cannot enter this uh, cave without a lantern and if you click around here so nothing happens even if you click around here but if you click around here you can search so search and you can find the lantern so now you can enter the cave and uh, yeah this is the end of the demo hmm. so yeah it's uh, it's really short so we're gonna create this from the scratch and I'm gonna explain the basic structures like uh, how to create a background and how to place those characters, objects, stuff like that. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Okay, let's start. So first let's create a project and I'm gonna name this as a Awesome Quest 3. Uh, don't create. Okay, first let's create a package. Name is anything is fine, but I'm gonna just name this as main. And inside let's create a class. And I'm gonna name this game manager the first class with the main method and this class is gonna be a hub so all other classes are connected to this game manager instantiate Okay, this game manager is okay for now, so let's leave it and uh, let's create another class and this time name this UI and uh, so inside of this UI class we're gonna create all the UI stuff and first let's create a window so J, let's use JFrame class import and also constructor And uh, let's get a uh, game manager class from here. So game manager, uh, game manager, GM. This dot GM, call GM. And also let's send this game manager to this UI class. and this okay so now we can access to this game manager class from this UI class as well then uh, we're gonna make a method 
public create uh, main field ah sorry not public public void and inside of this create main field method uh, instantiate this window and uh, also set size uh, I'm gonna choose 800 and 600 but you can choose uh, whatever number you want dot also set default close operation jframe dot exit on close so we can close the window properly uh, window dot also let's set the background color Content pane, not set content pane, and also import this color. Then uh, let's set the layout of this window as no, and uh, okay. So and also let's call this method from this constructor, and uh, finally. Let's make this window visible. Uh, okay, let's check this. Okay, yeah, window is done. So 800 pixels and the 600 pixels and the background color is black. And next, let's create text area around here and the bottom of the screen. To do that, we're gonna use a uh, J text area. First public AJ text area and name this message text or something and import. So make sure to set this as public and then uh, inside of this create main field instantiate this message text. set bounds so somewhere so we wanna place this JTEXT area around here so X is 50 and Y 400 and the width 700 and the height is uh, 150 or something and then set the background color background, uh, color and also the text color set foreground uh, white I'm oh, sorry uh, let's uh, use blue for now then a bit a couple of more attributes message text set editable false so we cannot edit the text so this is only used for displaying text then uh, set line wrap uh, true World true. So these two lines take care of uh, like a line lapping, line breaking. So aut automatically text gets lapped. And also the default text is pretty small. So let's set the font and the font size. Uh, message text dot set font and uh, new new font. 
And uh, for this one, I'm gonna use uh, this one, book Antiqua. I think since this is uh, like a fantasy RPG type of game, so I think this font fits nicely. And then font style is uh, plain. And uh, font size is like a 26 or something. The import font. And uh, this message text is done, I think. So let's add to this window. Message text. And also let's type some sample text here. Okay, let's check this. Hmm, okay, it's like this. So this is the text area. So yeah, let's change this to black. So I, I just wanted to show so where the panel is, uh, not panel, where the te uh, text area is. So okay, so like this. Suma, <laughs> what is this? Suma, smapo, smapo text. And uh, so what's next? Uh, I think we're gonna create a background space around here. And uh, to do that, we're gonna use a J panel and a J label. And first J panel, public J panel, BG panel or something, background panel. And uh, we're gonna use array for this one because um, it really depends on the scale of your game. But uh, for example, if you want to use a 20 background pictures for your game then uh, you're gonna create a 20 background panel so you can create panel you know, like one by one but uh, I think uh, you know using array is more convenient and new uh, J panel and for this one this is just a sample so we only use three background pictures so or maybe 10. 10 is good enough. And the import. And also, we're gonna create a J label. The BG label. And this is also array. New J label. 10. Then uh, let's create another method public void create uh, background and uh, let's call this uh, from here constructor background and here first initialize bg panel and uh, let's put one here for now. This is just a place for the number. But yeah, just for now. And J panel. And then uh, set the bounds. We're gonna place this panel x50, y50, and the width is 700, and the height is 350. So this is gonna be the size of the image, background image, 700 and 350. Uh, and uh, no, black or no, and uh, layer. This is also no, and uh, yeah, and uh, let's add this to the window. this uh, I don't see uh, yeah of course sorry uh, let's, <laughs> let's let's uh, use blue for now just to check the location is okay hmm looks okay so 
and uh, maybe I want to move this text a bit lower so not 400 but uh, 410 or something hmm yeah I think this looks better next let's initialize J uh, label BJ label also one new J label the label set bounds and the this is going to be exactly the same size as this uh, BG panel. So just type 00, uh, 700, 350. Uh, huh? Ah, sorry, I forgot to type one. And uh, okay, now this background label will be used to display an image, background image. So let's prepare images for this game. And so first let's create a resource folder uh, here. A new source folder, press, and here. For this game, I have prepared these images. So this and this and this, these are the background images and these are objects and also this is an um, item icon. Yeah, and this is player life icon. So let's uh, copy to this place folder. In case you are wondering, I got most of the images from uh, this Pixabay and also this GameIcons.net. I think these are pretty, pretty good websites. For example, if you type forest, there are many forest images, and so if you want to use this forest image, then uh, you can download it for free. So free for commercial use, no attribution required. Wow, it's so amazing. <laughs> I think many other websites are not this generous I think mm. yeah so I really recommend these two websites anyway okay uh, so yeah we have copied these image images to this rest folder so we can use this so first let's create a image icon for this one I'm gonna name this BG icon background icon new image icon and I get class get class loader dot get resource and here type file name so uh, let's use this one this one uh, so green bg green bg 700 350 Oops. Uh, png and uh, import and uh, let's set this to this bg label And let's add this label to the panel. BG panel. Add uh, BG label one. And okay, I think. Let's check this. Hmm, okay. So yeah, we can display a background image like this. And the next is. Uh, let's place some objects on this background. For this first screen, I prepared three objects. 